spring is coming. I know it is very exciting and I know a lot of you are probably really excited to go out and get some new clothes for your wardrobe and I think that is amazing but before you buy I just want to make sure that you're being really mindful with your purchases so that you don't end up with a bunch of clutter, a bunch of things that you just never want to wear and instead you buy pieces that make you feel good and that you're excited to wear and they express your style. So that is what I'm going to talk about today. I am going to share a line of questions for you to go through before you buy to make sure that the things that you end up with are what you actually want to wear. Hey there, I'm Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing 10 questions to ask yourself before you buy anything new so that you can stay mindful when you shop. This way you will only make purchases of items that you love and you want to wear and you keep yourself from ending up with a bunch of stuff that just fills your closet, it stuffs it to the max, and it becomes clutter that ultimately you're going to end up getting rid of. Before I get into the line of questions, I just want to make sure that you know that when you are about to buy and this applies to when you're actually in the store so this is in-person shopping that I am referring to you want to pick up the garment you want to hold it and you want to inspect it thoroughly you want to turn it inside out you want to tug at it you want to just really take a good look so you become very familiar with what it is that you're about to buy now let's get on to the questions the first question is, why are you going to buy this garment? Why do you want to buy it? You're in the store and you see this item and obviously it draws you in, it brings you in closer, you are attracted to it. What is the reason that you want to buy it? Is it a pair of sandals and you, you the ones from last year have broken so you absolutely need a new pair? Is it a cute blazer because and you don't have any spring jackets so you need a new spring jacket? Get really clear on why it is that you want to buy it. So this is going to eliminate any sort of impulse purchase. This is going to give you a good reason for bringing it, bringing it into your closet so that it becomes something that you actually want to wear and something that you need. Number two, this is when you're holding the garment. I want you, like I said before, I really want you to inspect it, turn it inside out, and then I want you to answer the question, is it made well? Is the piece well constructed? Can you see that there are loose threads hanging everywhere? Are there little tears inside? You just have to look closely to notice the seams. Are they in straight lines? What does this garment look like construction-wise? Does it look like it's going to hold up well? Or does it seem like it's just gonna fall apart very quickly? Because if it's gonna fall apart very quickly, I don't think you really wanna buy that. I will get into another video about why we don't wanna buy cheap clothes, but right now just stick to the question, is the garment well constructed? Will it last? The third question is, does this item fit in with the rest of your wardrobe? Can you mix and match it? Or is it something that's just gonna be on its own, like a lone garment that you'll never really have anything to pair it with? The other thing about when a garment fits into your wardrobe is this is gonna help you figure out if it makes sense for who you are and your life. Because if you don't have anything else like it, then think about why you don't have anything else like it. Is it because it doesn't look like you and it's not something that you'll actually wear? Or are you actually gonna be trying something new, which I recommend experimenting, that's definitely a good idea. So just think about the garment that you're holding up and then think about what you've already got in your closet. Do the two go together? Do they make sense? Number four, does this garment look like you? Meaning, is it something that you want to wear and when you hold it up, does it feel comfortable for who you are? Does it represent your style? This is pretty much a gut feeling. When you look at a garment, you hold it up and you just say, does this garment look like me? And you will answer yourself very quickly. The feeling will come from your stomach. It's a simple yes or no. If it's yes, great. If no, no. Number five, 
when are you going to wear it? I find this question is really important when I'm in a store. I'm holding the garment up and I'm looking at it. Then I need to think about what's on my calendar, what's in my schedule, when am I actually going to wear this piece? If it is a gingham blouse, I have to think about, you know, does it fit in with my closet as I asked myself earlier, but okay, now when am I gonna wear it? Do I have anything coming up that this app, that this top would be appropriate to wear it to? So I want you to get really specific about what you have on your calendar and what this garment will work best for. Number six. Does this garment look too similar to other things that you have in your garment? So sometimes we're attracted to a similar style and that that's great, maybe it's your signature look. And then you think about what you already have in your closet and you realize that you actually already have several other pieces that look like this. So the question is, is this piece too similar to what I already have? And are the variations, are the fashion details, are the styles, different enough that it makes sense, that it warrants a new purchase. And number seven, do you love it? Not only do you love it, but do you really, really, really love it? So I want you to ask yourself that. You're in the store, you're holding it up, look at it closely and say, do I love this? Do I really, really, really love this? The answer will come pretty quickly. Number eight, does it fit you well? Is it your size? So now you've probably got the garment on, you've gone into the fitting room, and I want you to really inspect the way this garment is draping and hanging on you. Is it flattering? Is it fitting you? Are all the seams in the right place? Are the darts all lined up? Look at it closely, and you don't have to really pay so much attention to the number on the size, but does this garment fit you well? Is it your size? Does it look good? Because if it doesn't fit, if it's too tight, if it's too, if it's too big, too baggy, too wrong for your body, then you're not gonna wanna buy it. Number nine, is it comfortable? When you raise your arms up, can you raise your arms up comfortably? When you've got the garment on, how does it feel on your body? Are you, are you feeling free, like you can move like you normally would, or are you in any way feeling restricted? I think this is really important when you're buying something because when you buy things, shoes, I mean the shoes that are too small, I think we've all probably done it, they never get worn because they're not comfortable. So this is really important. Be super honest with yourself when you're trying on the garment, asking, is it comfortable? Number 10, what is the return policy? Sometimes when we're in the store fitting room, maybe the light is a certain way, maybe we're in a certain mood, we're all amped up by the excitement of the lights and of all the atmosphere of the store, so we're thinking, yeah, this looks pretty good. And then we get home and we're like, what was I thinking? This looks awful. That's why it's important to know what the return policy is so that you can bring it back, no hassles, get your money back, and then move on. So those are the 10 questions that I encourage you to ask yourself while shopping to make your purchases more mindful so that you end up with only items that you love and that you want to fill in your closet instead of just buying a bunch of more clutter. So I hope you've got something valuable from this and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.